Hi, in this video I will show you how to add support for the microSD card with the use of FATFS and SPI. For this example we will use SPI0, which is located on this header, and we will use the um, select pin 10. The module needs uh, 5 volts because it got a low drop voltage regulator over here. And the connections for the SPI0 look like this. So on this header we got the first pin which is master input slave output. The third pin is serial clock. Fourth one is master output slave input. And the sixth one is the ground which we got to connect. We will use the example with the USB communication. And with the ASF, we will add the needed components, which are FATFS, memory control access interface. SD MMC stack with SPI SPI driver and the SPI master of interface Also, RTC will be added because in the files of uh, the microSD card there has to be a date written. Okay, now let's uh, try to build the solution. We will see what we have to add. Okay, and as we see, we got. We have to add definitions to the RTC registers. Let's just copy them into the file. Somewhere on top. Okay, let's try to build it again. Okay, so no errors. So now, let's go to the config files. Now, the first one, config access. Uh, so in this file, we got uh, something like uh, device images for the FATFS and we have to enable a few of those uh, like we have to enable the DSD MMC only this one we don't have to enable this so let's do that by adding this definition, okay, and going lower we will see the functions on which one uh, will be the uh, interface of the FATFS interact with the SD card, so actually SPI, so we have two instances and we will use this one, but we don't have this file as we will go to the files which are included by the ASF components, memory, 
as the MMC, we don't have those files. So the trick to get it is to generate a new project example, which uses the SD MMC. And I generated this project. And the name of it is SD MMC example. And we can go to this uh, project and search for those files. So ISF common components memory SDMMC. And we have those files here. We can just copy them into the folder of our project. So in here. Okay. And we need to add those uh, files in the Solution Explorer. So over here, right click on it, add existing item. I need to locate those files. Okay. Okay, and we got them in the project. The C file and the H file. Okay, let's go back to the config access. We still have to enable one thing, which is the access memory to RAM. And to do that, we got do just as before, define this uh, specific name. Let's do that on the top of the file. Okay, let's try to build the project. Okay, so it succeeded. Now we need to go to the kind of SDMMC. So we got this defined. And as we see, it will go down. This symbol is not defined, so it will jump in here. And at the bottom of the file, we got uh, definitions for the pins, uh, but those pins don't match our board because this is an example of uh, some other uh, board with other microprocessor. So let's just make a correction to the pins which match our board. So for the chip select, it will be PA28. For the master input, it will be 25. Master output will be 26. And the clock will be 27. Okay, we can also copy those files to our main. Okay, and we can in the main declare a configuration for those pins. So we can do this. Here, so GPIO config pin and pin number of the chip select, the flex of the chip select, the 
next pin so master input pin flex Now the master output. Flex for the spin. And the last spin, which is the clock. Okay, and we have to enable the clock for the GPIO, GPIO A peripheral. Okay, let's try to build a solution. Okay, so no errors. So now we can try to add functions for the uh, FATFS and the SD card. Uh, so I got a snippet code here, which I created earlier. So we can, or just maybe copy those init functions. And those functions will initialize the SD card. So we got the first function SD MMC in it. And this function, which is used by, by the FATFS to test the uh, slot of the card. Okay, and let's add another function to test the FATFS. Copy it. Let's declare a buffer, which we will use to write to the SD card. Let's say something like set. Okay. So uh, if uh, the function of the FATFS opens the file, the uh, SD card, a uh, response will be written to the USB. Okay, and as we will compile this, we will see we got something like missing memset, strlen, so we got to add a header for the string file. So include string.h. Okay, and now if we, if if we will try to build it, we get an error. Or maybe even not, because we don't use this function yet. So let's use it. And let's use it here. Okay, so now let's try this again. And we will see that we don't have some of the FATFS functions. I like F paths. In order to make those uh, functions available, we got to go to conf FATFS. 
and change use use str func to something like two or one. It will both ways work, but not zero. Let's build the project again. Okay, so no errors. So now let's uh, try to uh, flash the example. So we will use OSA. Let's erase the board. Okay. And select the bin file. Okay, so I'm resting the board and opening, opening the terminal. Okay, so as we see, we got uh, no errors because the message is zero. So everything is fine uh, from the FATFS. Okay, so let's close the terminal or maybe even not. Let's keep it open and now I will pull the SD card from the slot. Okay, so you see now it's printing one because uh, the disk could not be found. So now let's put the SD card into the computer. Okay, so we got our file. Let's open it up and we have our Z and the new line printing. So it works great. So uh, there is one thing over here. So if you need to go to the end of the file uh, in this implementation of the FATFS, you have to use something like this. You have to use the flseq in order to uh, set the pointer to the end of the file. Other methods uh, can mostly fail and it will corrupt your file. So as you can see, uh, this example works uh, great to save data in this uh, implementation of FATFS. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.